This video will explain the basic infusion startup process for the Triumph IP12 infusion pump. Start by pressing the power button for two seconds. This will turn the pump on. The pump now prompts the user to clear last treatment. Selecting yes will clear all remaining data from the previous infusion. Selecting no will pick up where last left off from previous infusion. If no selection is made after 30 seconds, the pump will automatically clear the data. The next page is the home screen where infusion parameters will be entered. The current infusion mode can be found at the bottom of the home screen. There are two different ways to change the current mode. The easiest way is to touch the bottom of the home screen and choose your preferred mode. The other way is to go through the menu by pressing either one of the two menu buttons. Selecting modes and choosing your preferred mode. Next, we will install the infusion line. Notice the flow direction on the door. Start by pulling the handle to open the door. Push up on the free flow clamp and to the right to engage. Again, noticing the arrows showing the direction of flow, insert the IV line into the line guide. Using your finger, secure the line in the line guide from left to right. Once the line is installed, close the door by firmly pressing both sides of the door until you hear the click. Note that you may need to use more pressure to close the door depending on what brand of IV line you are using. Now the pump will ask you to verify the brand and calibration of IV line. The pump will automatically default to the last brand and calibration that was previously used. If a different brand is being used, simply select different brand. This will pull up all the pre-installed IV brands. Notice at the bottom of the screen there are arrows and a page reference. To scroll through the brand, simply select the next page, previous page, or you can select back to go to the previous screen. It is important to pay attention to not only the brand of line, but what calibration as well, as some manufacturers make multiple calibrated lines. This will be designated as Series A or Abbott calibrated and Series B or Baxter calibrated. In this case, I'm using a Baxter ACT5435. Next, you will enter your infusion parameters by selecting the appropriate boxes on the touchscreen. Purge if necessary by pressing one of the two purge buttons. Verify your IV line by referencing the top of the screen. Also verify your settings once again. And finally start the infusion by pressing one of the two start buttons. As a safety feature, the pump will ask you to confirm drops are flowing in drip chamber. This is to, to ensure there is no occlusion upstream from the pump.